In today's video, I'm going to teach you a very important survival skill, and that is the most basic form of flint napping or making tools from rocks. What I have here is a rock you've probably heard of before, especially if you played Minecraft, and that is obsidian. It's also known as volcanic glass. It's basically pure silica that's cooled very quickly, and it can be used to make tools that are so useful in survival situations. I've used flakes from rocks like this to carve wooden bows for hunting. I've also used them to make arrows by scraping the shafts and making the knocks. And I've even butchered whole deer, elk, and bear with flakes that came from a rock like this. Now obsidian blades are the sharpest in the world. They can go down to a single molecule, making them much sharper than any metal blade. So the tools I'm going to show you how to make today are much sharper than the best samurai sword. They are more brittle than metal, but when they dull, you simply throw them away and make a new one. They're disposable. So basically inside this rock is a bunch of razor blades. You simply have to strike off, use, discard, and make more. So let's start breaking this rock open and I'll show you how to make obsidian blades. Now before we make our basic blades, I want to show you what advanced flint napping looks like. Here's a very large obsidian blade. This was made by a friend of mine named Emery Coons out of Burns, Oregon. He gave me some of my first flint napping lessons out at Glass Butte Snap In. That's where I learned to flint nap. It takes years of practice and experience to learn how to make these big thin blades without breaking them. Now blades like this were made in ancient times. They were used more as ceremonial. They didn't really use them as much for cutting open animals. It takes a lot of skill to make a wide thin blade like this. And we're going to get to that later. I'll do this in a later video. But for now, I'm going to show you how to break this rock and make our simple blades. To do that, I'm going to strike it with another rock. It's a harder rock. They call these hammer stones. You can tell a hammer stone because it's pecked on the end and it fits in the hand nicely. We're going to strike it, apply energy through the rock, break off a flake and make tools. Now holding a rock like this reminds me of a Rubik's cube. At first it seems very complicated on how to do it, but once you learn the basics, it becomes more easy and with practice, you can become very good at it. Now looking at this rock, we're looking for weak points. I wouldn't want to strike it right in the middle like this. That just wouldn't work. You want to do it in a controlled manner and you want to put the energy from the hammer stone down into the rock to break off flakes. So what we're going to start with is edges. What I see here is a natural break from many years ago. Maybe another rock hit it and there's a flake. So we're going to use this as a weak point. Also, I'm seeing a ridge down here. So if I strike it right here, it will send the energy down and bring off a flake. Some of the first flakes are kind of ugly. They're not as sharp, but as you build on them and take more flakes, they get sharper and sharper and better. So first thing I'm going to do is kind of rough up the surface. That allows the hammer stone to grab it and really hit it. Then I'm going to strike it right here. I'm going to send a flake down and bring off this part. We're going to see nice shiny obsidian. So this obsidian is known as black butter. It's kind of dacite. It's more opaque and it's not see-through, but it's extremely sharp. Right here, we have sharp edges. These are great for scraping wood, but you can make even sharper edges. Oh, that's wicked right there. Let me show you just how sharp these are. I'll take a piece of leather, my leather pad. You can do this with skinning animals. You just touch it, it goes right through leather. Leather is pretty tough, but it's no chance to stand up against obsidian. Let's make some more flakes. Okay, now that we have one flake off, there's more options for making blades. I'm going to kind of turn it and look for the best place. Uh, this looks like a natural place to hit it, so we're going to do it on this side. I love that snap when you hit it, and here's the blades. You can just pile these up. Each one of these can be made into a cutting tool that can cut that leather used for butchering and making tools. I'll just keep striking it. I love that sound. That is a very good blade right there. Let's make a larger blade. To do that, you strike it farther in. Oh, look at this. That edge right there is perfect for carving wood or butchering an animal. I even nick my finger and bleeding a little bit. Let me show you just how well this works. We have a bunch of cattail here. This makes a great sleeping mat when you lay it down or weave it together. And to harvest it, we'll simply cut it with our obsidian blade. Works great. We can even use it as a chopping tool to cut wood.
and it's scraping for collecting bark. It's basically a Stone Age Swiss Army knife. Well, there you have it. How to make a very simple survival blade using flint napping skills. You can use obsidian, also flint or chert. There's quite a few rocks you can flint nap with. Not everyone's gonna learn how to make large blades like this, but having a basic understanding can really help with a survival situation. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your support. If you haven't subscribed, please consider clicking that button and let me know what kind of videos you wanna see next. Thanks again.